Hello and welcome to this video where we will cover the concepts of boundaries and boundary groups in Microsoft Configuration Manager. These elements are essential for defining how the clients will find the resources like distribution points and the management points. Understanding these elements helps ensure the efficient client communication and content delivery. My name is Navneet Kumar and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Well, the first thing first, let us understand what is a boundary. A boundary in SCCM is essentially a way to define the network location where the configuration manager client resides. You can define the boundaries using the IP subnets, Active Directory sites, IPv6 prefixes and IP address ranges. However, the boundaries alone do not do anything unless they are added to the boundary groups. So it is very important to understand the role of boundary groups. A boundary group is a collection of one or more than one boundaries. It allows the SECM to determine the following things. It ensures which site a client belongs to using the site assignment based on the network location of the client, which servers clients should use to download the content or receive the policies from. This is where boundaries become functional. Without being in a group, a boundary won't provide any site or content information to the clients. It is important to understand that the site assignment uses a single boundary group that includes the client's boundary. Content location is more flexible. Multiple boundary groups can serve the content to a client. This distinction affects how you configure fallback and manage the content distribution. Well, let's have a look into a demonstration on creating and managing the boundaries and boundary groups for preparing the infrastructure to onboard the systems and users and the site assignment to these SCCM clients. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create the boundaries and boundary groups. For that, I will click on the administration workspace in Microsoft Configuration Manager and will go to hierarchy configuration. Under the hierarchy configuration, the first option is discovery methods to choose from, where from we can decide that how the users or systems will be discovered. And uh, after that, we'll configure the boundaries and boundary groups. Here you see under the boundaries there is no boundary configured so far in this setup and uh, later we will define the boundaries and the boundary groups but before that let us discover some systems by using the discovery methods to do that i will choose the discovery method on the left and will select the active directory forest discovery we have other options to discover the groups systems or users or using the heartbeat of the sccm clients or network discovery in our case i will be using this option of active directory forest discovery to discover the systems and we'll click on properties here we have the option to enable the active directory forest discovery and can automatically create the active directory site boundaries when they are discovered based on the active directory sites so in your active directory domain service environment if you already have some sites and subnets so those sites can automatically be discovered and the boundaries can be created based on that you will notice that now because i have enabled the active directory forest discovery and enabled the option to create these boundaries based on the sites so i will see some of the boundaries created based on this option under the boundaries blade let me go to the boundaries blade and show you that some of the boundaries have been detected here i will click refresh to refresh this page to show you these boundaries that have been discovered using the active directory site discovery method further we have the options to create the boundaries uh, using other methods of discovery now let us create the boundary groups and put the boundaries into the respective boundary groups because as i mentioned earlier that a boundary can do nothing without a boundary group so for that i'm creating this boundary group called london and will 
add the boundaries to it we'll click on the add button and we'll choose the let's say add item hq boundary in this boundary group and we'll click apply and add from the references i can use this boundary group for the site assignment for my SCCM clients for that i can check this box and then i can assign the site so i can choose which site i want to assign based on this boundary group so i can add the management point that i want to use to assign the policies to the clients here using this boundary group so we'll select ok and this is the site system server so this is not only my uh, management point but the distribution point so i can choose those site system servers and then i will apply the settings over here so this s01 which is the site code for this adatum site will be assigned to the clients and uh, they will be using this london cfg machine as a management point and a distribution point for the content and policies well this is how we create the uh, boundaries and boundary groups in the microsoft configuration manager now the next thing is i'm going to create few more boundary groups over here let's say i want to create a boundary group for toronto systems and then we'll add the boundaries to this it will be toronto boundary add it and uh, then under the reference tab you can again use this boundary group for site assignment if you want to and then choose the uh, site system servers be it your management point or distribution point that you want to allocate to the clients that have been assigned with this site so this is the another boundary group i have created i'm creating one more boundary group which will be for sydney and in that i will assign the boundary sydney will add it and from the references tab again i can provide the information about the site site assignment that i want the automatic site assignment for the clients based on their network location and the uh, management points and the distribution points and will apply from here and set it well this is uh, how we define the boundaries and boundary groups prior to uh, performing the client installation in case we want automatic client installation for the microsoft configuration manager clients so the correct site assignment is important based on the client's location because it impacts the performance i will go to the one of the site and will show you the reference over here i can select the relationship and can define the fallback relationship over here so in case if any uh, management point or distribution point is not available so it can use a fallback site so this is uh, london for this sydney site and i can define the distribution point or the software update points that it will be using and the delay so uh, the management points or distribution points or software update points that we have in the london site will be used as a fallback in case if the sydney site is having any issues uh, here i can define the distribution point and the software update point or management point uh, uh, fallback time that for how long it will wait for the site to provide the you know policies or the content from that uh, uh, site for example from sydney so i have set it for 15 minutes for the distribution points so it will automatically fall back to london in case the distribution point is unavailable in sydney